What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bonnie and this is Happy Space Create. I have got one of your favourite videos coming up for you today. It is what's inside this month's sewing magazine, so if you want to check it out, do stay tuned. <music> Welcome back everyone, thank you so much for joining me again today. As I said, I have got your favourite video for you, I know you guys absolutely love this. So I have got all three of this month's sewing magazines. Now this was the first time in a little while that I did manage to pick up all the magazines from the same place. For the last few months I've been driving around to all sorts of different shops trying to get hold of them because there has been a bit of a supply issue in my area. So that was really convenient because it meant that I wasn't driving around looking everywhere. Um, and it also is great because I got to compare them side by side in the shop. Um, all of the magazines have great patterns in this month, so I can't wait to go through them all with you. Now, one thing I just want to touch upon before we get started, there has actually been a price increase in some of the magazines, so I will just discuss that with you now. Just so you are aware, when you do go to the shop, the price has increased. Now, I still personally think that these are great value compared to the content of what you get inside the magazine, but as we know, everything is going up in price at the moment, so I do think it's really important to take note of that because I didn't immediately notice until I got to the till, and then I was like, oh, that has gone up quite a bit. So I'll start off with Simply Sewing Magazine, and now this one is staying at $9.99. This is a great price. I do love Simply Sewing Magazine. They always have fantastic patterns and a little bit of everything in there. I also think that Simply Sewing Magazine is probably your entry level sewing magazine. It is probably the one that is more suitable for beginners. So I do think that is great that they have left the price at $9.99. Um, going up in price to $11.99 is Sew Magazine. Now, I think that $11.99 is quite a price hike. I do believe that it was $9.99 last year and then it increased to $10.99 and now it is $11.99. Um, you do get two or three patterns included in each one and I do, I would say that Sew Magazine is probably quite content rich. You do get quite a lot inside. Um, to be honest, £12 is probably the most I would pay for a magazine on a regular basis. Um, but I do still think it is completely worth it and you do get a bumper edition in this one as well, which I will go through with you in a sec. But just magazines that are monthly, I do think like £12 is approaching on that like little bit more of a cost that I probably wouldn't buy every month. Um, but I guess they are doing lots of offers on the subscription. So if you are a regular buyer of those magazines, it might be to push you more into the subscription route, um, which is something that I am really considering. I've never subscribed to a magazine before, purely um, because I like to be able to choose which ones. I don't want to be held like hostage to a particular magazine, um, but I do buy them all quite regularly anyway. So it does sort of look that I should probably subscribe and save myself some money. Um, but next up is Love Sewing Magazine. Now this is 10.99, this has gone up to 10.99. Um, there is actually like, the magazine's really thin, there's not a lot to it this month. So I kind of was a bit disappointed in this, to be honest, because it has gone up in price, but also the actual thickness of the magazine is really, really thin. I don't think you can see that on camera but I mean it doesn't seem like there's nearly as many like articles in there as usual but with Love Sewing Magazine and Sew Magazine you do always get patterns from one of the big four companies as opposed to Simply Sewing Magazine who quite often release their patterns that are designed exclusively for themselves so inside these ones you do get one of the big four patterns um, so I guess if you consider that a pattern on its own would range between £9 to £15, it is still a good price and you do kind of get the content in the magazine as a bonus. Um, but obviously, like I said, 
with the price increase if you're not particularly drawn into what is inside the magazine that month it is quite an expenditure um, so you might want to consider subscribing in the future that's just my personal opinion if you do like getting them every month it is going to work out cheaper for you to subscribe i know that subscription services aren't available to all of my watches in different countries um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know of the price increase because I do think that that does sway you as to whether you are going to go for it or not. And personally for me, in the future, if there are patterns in there that I'm not really that bothered about, um, you know, paying that extra bit of money, I might reconsider. I would rather buy like a metre of some beautiful fabric. So you got to kind of weigh it up as well. So that is just something to bear in mind. So I just wanted to mention that at the beginning of this video. So um, just to let you know that they have increased. So let's take a little look at Simply Sewing Magazine. Now, I love these paper covers because it lays it out really, really easily what's inside. So let's have a little look now. So we have got a stand together pattern. Now, this is a beautiful shacket pattern. Now, this is their first ever gender neutral pattern. So that means it's got both men and women. Um, it's suitable for, it hasn't really got a gender assigned to it. So that is really, really good because I feel like a lot of clothes are actually quite gender neutral anyway, and it doesn't really need to be kind of labelled, especially on like outerwear and things like that. So I think it is really good that they are moving with the times. They've obviously recently introduced this paper cover to help minimise plastic wastage. And obviously they are moving towards a more gender neutral kind of role. Obviously we do know that a lot of lovely men out there sew as well, but a lot of the patterns that you get included in the magazines are targeted towards women. So I definitely do think this is a fantastic step forward into the sewing community. Um, so let's have a little look at what content is included. So inside you've got four exclusive gifts. You've got a sewing bee pattern. You also have interviews with TV stars. I'm assuming they are the sewing bee contestants and then prizes to be won. Um, I love a good prize draw. I never ever win anything, but um, I do like being, you gotta be in it to win it, haven't you, at the end of the day? And they always do such great prizes, so um, that's always good. Another thing that they have written on here is they have a free book to download. Now, most of the free books that you get advertised included in the magazines, you have to pay postage and packaging for, which is usually around five to seven pounds. So this is a free book to download. Um, so it actually is a free book. So that's interesting. Um, it is worth $9.99 and the book is called Get Into Dressmaking. Um, so I'm assuming it's a bit of an introductory guide, which is great because I know with the new season of The Sewing Bee always introduces a lot more people into sewing. So it's a great time to start having all of these introduction kind of things in the magazines. We've got a lot more new people being inspired out there to give it a go. Um, we've also got Sew, Share and Sell, which is a bonus little booklet in here about making and selling your crafts online or at markets, which I do think a lot of us kind of dabble in a little bit at home as well. We often make things for other people and then sometimes, you know, we manage to sell them or things like that. So it is a guide to how to sell your handmade items, which I think is really nice. I think a lot of us do sometimes want to venture into that if you feel comfortable doing it I know also sewing is for pleasure and it also doesn't have to be a business but it can be if you want it to be we've also got interviews gossips and a bonus pattern from the sewing bee doesn't give you any clues as to what that pattern is so that's exciting enticing to get you to open it up and we've got some lovely um, patterns included as well and I will go through those in a minute Let's take a little look at the back as to what's included here. So these are just some other features that are inside. We have this lovely little felted applique poppy cushion, which is super, super cute. And I haven't actually seen anything quite like that in the magazines before. Usually it's like a lot of patchwork kind of stuff. Whereas this is really, really cute. And I think that would make a beautiful gift. Um, we've got a dragon plushie toy. I do think we've had a dragon before and not that long ago, um, but we have a dragon again. 
um, which again is really cute. I'm sure he's adorable and happy to make. We also have some picnic essentials. I absolutely love a picnic at this time of year. So definitely got some picnic essentials. And then we've also got a dress pattern as well from a previous sewing bee. Um, so that's really, really cute. We've also got 350 pounds worth of sewing prizes to be won, cross stitching a baby romper, that sounds adorable, and then a beginner's guide to paper piecing. Now that's something that I've always like wanted to do, but I don't have the patience for it. So I definitely will be checking that article out as well. So let's open it up and have a little look at what's inside. So we've got it all unwrapped now. Now the first thing that falls out are the wonderful free patterns. So let's start by taking a look at those. This is this lovely little booklet. Oh, it's quite flimsy. Lovely little booklet about the selling your crafts. It's got branding tips, social media guides, it's got photography tips, where to sell, and also a guide on how to price your items as well. First up, we have the litmus jacket. Now this is the gender neutral shacket pattern. So we have just got one view for this pattern, which is quite unusual. Most of the time there are different add-on variations as well, but this is just straight up out the packet, one to choose from. Um, so I'm assuming it comes in quite a range of sizes. As you can see, it's quite a simplistic design. It doesn't have any difficult cuffs. It has a sort of built-in collar, so no collar stand to worry about, just kind of like a loose collar. Um, and it's got some simple buttons down the front. I love making jackets and coats. Um, I've I obviously have made quite a few now. Um, so definitely something that I'm gonna keep hold of. I don't really need any more shackets at the moment. But funny enough, my dad did ask me to make one for him for his birthday. So this looks like it could be a really good pattern for him. So daddy, if you are watching, because I do know you watch all of my videos, if you like this pattern, let me know and I can make it for you for your birthday. Um, but yeah, I do think it is great. I don't really own a lot of men's patterns. So this is great that I can use this for him. And maybe we can make matching jackets. That would be cute. <laughs> but on the back here, you have you can see the length. So it's a little bit of a longer line jacket. If you are quite comfortable in hacking, you obviously could add darts. You can lengthen or shorten it for you as well if you are confident in that. But it seems to be a good pattern for beginners. Um, I should imagine it is pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, I will post the size guides for you now just so you get an idea of what the sizing works like. But this is made for um, medium weight woven fabric such as cotton and linen and it is a lined jacket as well so you will need some lightweight cotton or a cotton blend or linen to line it. So great if you haven't had like chances to learn how to line things before. This is a good starting point. Um, so yeah, so that is the litmus jacket. So next up is that sewing bee pattern. This is simply named the pleated dress. Now this is from the new sewing bee book, the sewing bee modern wardrobe. So this is one of the patterns that is included in that book, which is great to give it a try beforehand. Now you can't really see the pleats on here because the fabric doesn't really do it justice. It's kind of hiding the details of the dress. But if I hold it a bit closer, you can see that it's got a little open neckline here, so that like sort of folds. It would be cute if you added a little tie detail to that also. Um, it also has like a little belted waistband that's sewn in, and then you have some pleats to the side. So I should imagine this will be particularly figure flattering on more of a pear shape body shape. Um, but let's have a little look about what kind of fabric it should be made of. I will post the sizing guide for you now as well. So this is to be made out of a light to medium weight fabric such as viscose twill, cotton or viscose sateen, chambray or creped back satin. Um, so quite a variety of different fabrics you can make it from. It does have a like sort of mid length sleeve and I can't tell from the picture. But I think it has an elasticated sleeve cuff but I can't quite tell. Um, so this is a bit of a surprise really because I'm sure inside the instructions will show you a line drawing, but there actually isn't a line drawing on the pattern at all. So you can't really see the features of the dress. 
Um, so interesting that they've missed that out. I think it must have just been a complete oversight on like the pattern design. Um, so make it and find out, wait and see. <laughs> So let's have a little look at the front cover for Simply Sewing Magazine. It is in a gorgeous sunny yellow colour and basically everything on this front cover they put on the outside of the paper packet which is great because you know exactly what you're going to get when you're buying it. So Simply Sewing Magazine have got a subscription offer on at the moment so if you subscribe to Simply Sewing Magazine today you actually get the new Sewing Bee book for free which is a good deal so you've already got a pattern from the book included but you can get all the other ones if you subscribe this is not endorsed in any way i'm just letting you know what's inside so of course inside we have got a feature of the new sewing bee series as well what are we all thinking of it so far i will say it did take me a little while to warm up to it i'm a couple of episodes in now and i must say it did take me a little while to warm to the new dynamic i'm a massive joe lycett fan anyway of his comedy so i was really sad to see him go but i think sarah's doing a great job but it did just take me a little while to warm up to the new concept but we have got some fantastic contestants on there i've already got some fan favorites as well as we all do um but let me know if you are enjoying this new season down in the comments box below as well and there is that gorgeous sheer dress. Now that looks like a really simple make it yourself pattern at home. You just need to get that shearing technique down. But I do feel like that is a complete wardrobe staple. Um, just a simple strapless summer dress. So a great one to include. So there we have our ergonomic sewing tools. I said it. Um, we have got like seam unrippers, we've got like uh, rotary cutters, pens, chalks, things like that. So it's all about the top rated sewing tools to help you in the sewing room at home. So let's move on to Love Sewing Magazine. So inside Love Sewing Magazine, you always get one of the top four patterns. This month, I believe we have three included, which is great. Let's have a little look at the front cover. So this is a summer sewing special. You also get a free sewing book when you subscribe, so I wonder which one that's going to be. Um, and you also have a opportunity to win a £789 Janome sewing machine, which is a great deal. Um, you've got 20% off Minerva, and then you can win a year's supply of Butterick patterns, which is great. Um, let's have a little look at the patterns that are included. So you've got a McCall's tiered dress a two-in-one flared sleeve dress and then a classic skater dress. Let's crack it open and have a little look inside. So starting off with your first free pattern, this is the McCall's 8193. So I will post a picture of these up closer as well. This is a gorgeous ruffle tiered dress. Now, Again, this is an absolute classic style. Um, we saw a lot of this last year on the Sewing Bee when they decided to make a buffet dress. That is what they since named this type of dress. Um, I've always called it a tiered dress, but let's go with buffet as well. Um, obviously, it's a loose fitting dress from generally the waist down. So it is great for stuffing your face at a buffet, I guess. That's where they got the name from. But it is gorgeous. And again, it is a summer style that is not going anywhere. It's really, really popular. The cute thing that I love about this McCall's version is it has these cute little buttons on the straps um very very simple detail that to be honest you could have probably hacked a pattern to do that at home already um but i feel like you could really play around with that button and like maybe put like a big gem there or like a massive oversized one or just cute little buttons i think it's a nice little detail to have so that is a great pattern and that is definitely moving its way to the front of my pattern stash because summer is fast approaching and they are perfect for the hot weather so i will post the size patterns up here for you for this mccall's dress but this can be made in cotton blends poplin chambray and linen and it ranges from a size 6 to size 24. Now moving on to this thread count pattern, this is the flared sleeve dress. Now on initial impact, 
This dress probably isn't my personal style. I do feel like it would suit a certain type of body shape. Um, I do think this is a great pattern. Um, it would be nice for a day at the races or a like sort of dress going to a gala. Um, I don't know if I would make it for like an everyday dress. Maybe this shorter version. The maxi one is really nice, but I feel like you would have to make it in a more of an elegant fabric. Um, the pattern is very simplistic, so it just comes in at the waist here, and then you have this sort of like fluted sleeve. Um, super, super basic, I should imagine it's nice and easy to work with, nice to start with. Um, but yeah, this one is in a size extra small to extra large, and it can be made in lightweight to medium weight fabrics, such as crepe, chalice, wool blends, cotton blends, jersey, or interlocks. So it is both a woven and a stretch fabric pattern, which is really interesting. You don't get a lot of those. Um, on the line drawing here, you can see that there is an opportunity to make it a little bit more fancy, just at the front there. And then lastly, let's move on to this simple sew pattern. This is the skater dress. Now, this particular type of dress would perfectly suit my body shape. I love a skater dress. I feel like they are suitable for so many different occasions, so many different types of fabrics. So this is a simple skater dress style skirt and then quite a simplistic basic bodice. You've got a sort of round neck. It also kind of looks like a boat neck to be honest, but I think it's just a round neck. Um, and then we have got a three quarter length sleeve. If you are confident in hacking, I'm sure you can lengthen and shorten those as well. The beautiful thing about this is it has got a deep V back line which I think is gorgeous I love that little detail and then a simple zip running down the back so again I think it's kind of like a good beginner's pattern for you um it can be made out of cotton satin lawn crepe back satin and tweed or wool which is really interesting so a good summer and a winter pattern um, it comes in sizes 8 to 18. Now, I will say that the 8 to 18 size bracket does look a little bit small. I'll post it for you now as well. So let's take a little look at what is on this front cover. So we have got a gorgeous model here. She is actually wearing that flared sleeved fluted dress. This would be a lovely dress for a nice hot holiday, maybe if you're going to somewhere like Morocco or Egypt. It is a beautiful fabric and I think they have dressed it really, really well. It's just not personally my style. So we've got a feature in lovely layers. So it looks like to be that McCall's pattern just there as well. So that is all that tiered dress. Um, we've got stretch your sewing skills. So I'm assuming that will be an article on stretch fabrics. And then we also have an interview with Raf from last year's Sewing Bee as well. So there is our beautiful Raf. Now he was a firm favourite for me from last year and it is a beautiful article all about his sewing journey and what he's been up to since the sewing bee. Now this is just an advert inside the magazine but can we take a moment to enjoy this Vogue pattern right here? This absolute power suit. That it just completely stood out to me and then I realised that it was just an advert. How remarkable is that? I love it. So we have got the McCall's pattern there as well for you. So just a variety of different fabrics. Got a beautiful floral short version and then a lovely nautical kind of striped blue. I love that. Um, all about mastering the buttonholes and the different types of fabric you can use to make that dress. Now, menopause has been a hot topic on the TV recently with a recent show with Davina McCall. We also have an article in here all about the menopause and sewing and about how your mood and things can be affected due to the menopause and about how that can affect your creative flow as well. So if that does relate to you, they've got a beautiful article in here talking about it as well. I just thought I'd mention that. And there's also a cute little clutch bag pattern in there as well, which is a great introduction into making accessories if you have an event coming up. It looks like quite a simple pattern, um, but it should go through all the details of how to use the hardware that is required as well, which is something that I'm not familiar with. So it's definitely useful if you haven't used those things before. So let's move on to Sew Magazine. Now I will just say this is the first one that I have seen that has any kind of like Jubilee theming with the red, white and blue. I expected the other magazines to talk about the Jubilee because obviously it is quite a big 
thing, like the Queen's Jubilee, but they didn't mention it at all. I thought it would be all about sort of like street party kind of like accessories and things. This is the first one that I've seen that looks any kind of like Jubilee themed at all. So let's see if it mentions it inside um, because I was kind of hoping for like little accessories I could sew for the street party, but we'll wait and see. So inside we can see that you have got a 11 garment patterns in here so you've got 17 simplicity styles and four exclusive looks now they've really amped that up i feel like they have literally like made it bumper bumper addition to warrant the price increase so let's wait and see um it talks about the sewing bee again obviously hot topic um, and we can look back at some of the best moments so far. We've also got your download a free pack worth £25 with over 50 projects. And that is from Craft Magazine, so their sister magazine. We've got 20% off Minerva and sew over it. And then that's kind of like all it really says on the front. So let's open it up and have a little look at what's inside. So let's make a little start as to what is included in your patterns. You get three patterns included so it is still a good deal let's start off with the first one which is the simplicity 9136 this is a super easy t-shirt dress absolutely love this again perfect for summer and actually a really good street party dress so i really love that they've made it really creatively on the front by using stripes in alternating ways which is really really impactful um but yeah this is a simple t-shirt dress it has a raglan sleeve and then waist gathers so this can be made in cotton chambray flannel gingham lightweight denim um, it also says for knits as well so it does say allow extra fabric if you're going to be using stripes or alternating patterns this comes in a size 6 to 24 and I'll post the size brackets for you now so a really really simplistic pattern from simplicity Next up, we have a, another simplicity pattern, which is the 9107. So this is a loose fitting kind of blousy top kind of tunic thing. Really, really interesting like pocket placement. I've never ever seen a garment with like random pocket placement at the hem. It's not really something I would probably do, but version C is just a basic bodice and then maybe some like lacy sleeves, which probably is much more wearable for me. Um, this doesn't have any darts, so it's quite a boxy loose fit. Um, and it does have like a gathered, like pleated back. So it's quite loose fitting at the back, which I think is really, really interesting. And it doesn't show that from the front at all. So this one comes in a size extra small to extra extra large and it can be made in cotton, crepe, linens, poplin, silk and lace um, and then it does say you need separate fabric for the contrasting sleeves if you choose to do so. And then next up we have the New Look 6413 which is a jumpsuit slash dress pattern. You do get a little belt included in that as well. Now this is really really cute. I do love a jumpsuit. I've never actually made one but for some reason I collect jumpsuit patterns as if I was going to make one um, but I still haven't got round to it. But most of the jumpsuit patterns that I have seen have been like flared legged sort of like a flare or a wide leg jumpsuit this is a sort of narrow leg jumpsuit like a slim fit so that's the first one that I've seen of that for quite a while um it's got an elasticated waist and then a loose fitting top so great for holidays great for summer um I think that you could really dress this up if you wanted to make it out of a certain type of fabric the nice thing is it's got different sleeve options so suitable for all types of body shapes and sizes and then you also have like a dress version so a shorter dress and then like a mid like calf length as well so quite versatile trousers and a dress at the same time so let's have a little look at what is actually inside now you do get two magazines this time so let's start off with the freebie one this is make and sew toys now 
they don't usually do features on sewing toys it's usually simply sewing magazine that do that but to have like a whole magazine dedicated to different toy patterns is super super cute now these toys can be made out of felt or knitted or also fabric as well so it's quite a versatile magazine you've got stacking rings for babies you've got toys for older children you've also got little bags for easter um so like a real versatile thing i do feel like some of the patterns we have seen before inside the sewing magazines for example these little face masks were featured at easter time um so maybe a couple of repeated patterns there if you are a regular buyer of the magazine such as the easter things but i do feel like it could be nice just to keep on the side just if ever you're looking for a gift you can flick through it and maybe come up with some ideas these are the things that caught my eye which is these cute little wedding toppers now obviously you know that i'm getting married so that is maybe something that I might consider doing, but I do have quite a lot to make already. So I'm going to put that to one side and add it to my to-do list. But these look like they're made out of stockings. Yeah, I think they're made out of like stockings. Do you remember doing that as a child? I do. That's really cute. So yeah, so they are quite adorable for the top of a wedding cake. Um, you've also got how to make clothes for your dollies um so really really good great for the six weeks holidays as well if you're like wanting to do something with the children there's probably a couple of things in there that they can get stuck into as well so a nice little jubilee front cover so white red and blue love that so we have got our beautiful striped dress on the front then we've also got a fit and flare vintage frock a comfy round neck top kids dress and bloomers that's cute and then an easy upcycle pinafore and we also have another feature of behind the scenes at the sewing bee with patrick grant let's have a little look at what's inside so again they're saying that if you subscribe to the magazine you do get the new sewing bee book so if you are interested in that book now might be a really good time to subscribe to your favorite magazine it seems to be the offer of choice at the moment so no actual obvious mention of the Jubilee at all, but they obviously have taken inspiration from it from the colours that they've chosen. The first mention of the Jubilee, found it. Celebrate the Jubilee, kids dress. Look at that beautiful smocking, it's adorable. Um, so yeah, first mention of the Jubilee in there, which I am really, really pleased about because I kind of thought it was just going forgotten. But they have got this gorgeous dress and bloomer pattern in there. That is so adorable. I absolutely love it. Made out of a denim looking linen fabric. And they have also got this vintage inspired dress right here. So that is kind of like a fit and flare dress with a vintage collar. Again, a very on-trend look. We've seen a lot of that in recent times. So a great pattern to include. All of the patterns included in this magazine you can just download from their website. So no drawing it out yourself at home. If you do have access to a printer, you can just print them out. It's super easy. And then another kids pattern included in here is a adorable little pinafore. So lots of kids patterns included in this month or kid orientated designs. There we go, another Jubilee reference there. We've got a Royal Romance. So that is just a fabric selection to celebrate the Jubilee. I'm really, really glad that they have featured it because I kind of thought it was going forgotten. Another kiddie feature as well in here is these cute dinosaur masks to make at home. Now these are made of fabric and felt. Um, so I guess they are really focusing on maybe kid related projects for the six weeks holidays as that is approaching. So quite a vast like content in so magazine this month the other magazines didn't really mention like anything jubilee related at all it was very much sewing bee focused but i do really enjoy that but i do feel like they're all talking about the same stuff so i really really do enjoy the content in this one this month so that is pretty much everything that is inside the magazines. I'm not going to go through every tiny detail with you because I don't want to spoil the surprise. But overall, we've got some great patterns all looking towards the summer as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, do give it a little thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments box down below. 
Also, if you want to see more of what my channel has to offer, do click the subscribe button down below and you can follow me with all my sewing and crafting related content. But for now, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you really, really soon. Bye!